Hello guys, I'm Daily Fix and welcome back to X4 Re-Emergence. So, oh, a lot has happened actually, oh, a lot has happened. So let's pause the game. I'm currently on my way towards the op. Uh, I decided that, that it is going to be in my best interest to make sure that I am at least negative nine with them. The reason for that is at negative nine, magic happens and your ships are actually allowed to dock with their stations. To go back over here to the uh, ore refinery. Now, I left you guys off uh, with that Xenon ship. I did decide at actually to attack it and I, if I remember, add some footage uh, from it where I... Wow, I almost lost my ship. Uh, and he said, well, it's just, you know, it's just that one ship. Yeah, it is, but my money ain't great. And I kind of want to, you know, save up uh, a tiny bit of that. I attacked some of the weapon points. And eventually, there was a carrier that came in. And, and that ship fell um, relatively fast. Didn't make for very interesting content otherwise, but you know, it, it, oh, it was fun, it was fun. Increasing relations, however, usually isn't. So, what is going to be the goal? Now, thank you so much to, uh, and I, I actually had the name, and I thought I had it memorized, but I didn't. Um, re, re, uh, I need to look it up. Uh, thank you towards uh, Regest uh, for explaining to me the um, the usage of the labor union contract. I wasn't aware that it actually doubles your input. So currently there is a efficiency of 200% and that is thanks to the union labor contract. You do not need this in order to... Uh, run a factory, so if you don't want to, hey, fine, you know, if you don't want to spend a tiny amount to double your output, okay, you might have your reasons for that. Anyways, uh, I am going to, and once the second one is up, that is, uh, wow, it, it, it's going to be 9,120 per hour. Which we do not have enough storage for, therefore we are building the additional storage. But we are going to be set with the refined metals for quite some time. So, I don't want to overflow, quote-unquote, the market. And I'm sure some of you are like, <laughs> it's just 9,000, dude. You know, come on. I was considering adding solar power plant, but, yeah, it's 60%. 6% ain't good, although we can double it up and then you could say basically it's like 120%. Yeah, not sure yet. Currently, uh, there's a point. There is a point to all of this. Uh, currently, this is what we know. And our base and second contact can reach uh, all the way over here to light of heart. Uh, and everything potentially that is in between, with the exception of Windfell, which I do need to change. We need to get all of the negative relationships kind of out of the way. So in the future, we have a lot of trading opportunities. And the Vic Syndicate is at negative four. This faction, faction will plunder your ships, we know. Which is bloody annoying. That's one of the things I need to change. I also need to get the Pontifac to actually allow my ships to dock. So negative nine. I'm considering beelining towards hull parts. All of these stations, and let's get rid of this. All of this, the majority of the stations, there's, there's actually a huge demand. Uh, for hull parts, as you can see, like 14,000, 32,000, and so on, so on. And, and the prices they pay is actually quite nice. Like 504, or let's say 450, something in that region, uh, like we're doing over here. So, 
Is it expensive going to hall parts? I uh, don't really know. We don't have to do solar energy. We don't have to provide it with energy. We can just buy it in because it is cheap. Uh, energy. Let's type like that. Uh, sold for nine. Over there with uh, the Vic Syndicate. I, they might plunder your ships. Uh, but is it worth the risk? Not particular shit. I'm sure there's more stations providing us uh, with that. 16 credits, still not a lot though. Does it justify me getting a solar power plant? No, yeah, not really. Not right now because we are not going to be fully utilizing it and we would end up just selling it and it's not worth it. So we need to get into uh, graphene and then graphene, refined metals, solar power uh, would actually be hull parts if my brain works. That's the wrong button. That is still the bloody wrong button. Hull parts. There you go. All parts. Uh, military schematics, I'm going to assume, is the same as the Union Bond. So, we can use them to double up the output. Uh, what is the price on the military schematics? They're being bought. They're not being sold. Wait, what? They're not being sold? Interesting. Like, they're buying it like crazy, so... Interesting, uh, actually. So there's no way to double up output yet, but I'm sure there is a way. We just haven't found it yet. Don't see anything weird in this. So, yeah. I also would really, really like to buy additional of uh, an additional ship an actual military ship um, small some sort of a fighter which is fast so if you have suggestions about you know this airship is absolutely cool or these weapons because the weapons in this mod pack for, my, for me to personally don't make sense uh, but, you know, that, that's a me problem, not a you problem. So I can understand you guys are like, yeah, you know, I figured it out on your own. But it would really help if um, if you guys could tell me, you know, these weapons are absolutely They're phenomenal. They work platform. great against other small fighters or pirating or whatever. So what I'm going to be doing, which is extremely boring, I know, is going to increase my relation. So, yeah, I'll be cutting that part out. While we do that, we're going to be saving up money. Uh, how many ships do I have signed up over here? There is two of them. They will start doing some of the selling business. Uh, we, I'm, I'm, I think if I play my cards right, graphene and hull parts should be a thing. But we'll start with graphene because I do want to have two minus two traders. And we'll have to figure out where we want to place them. So I'm going to be starting with the reputation and then we're going into graphene. So I'll meet you when I'm actually done with Baronet the reputation stuff. Platform. Okay, so that is actually the uh, reputation stuff. Found the uh, the parent shipyard, uh, the uh, Let's take a look. What do we have? We have a Daimos battleship. I'm actually starting to think I already showed these. Um... Yeah, I think I did, actually, because the Pyranid and the Hobbit, they're, they're exactly uh, the same ship types, I believe. If I'm... It's the Pyranid, right? Not that I'm now... Yeah, Pyranid uh, as well as the uh, So, with that done, I'm kind of hoping that uh, we could potentially find... And I'm cheating this a tiny bit. Um, there we go, this is the one I'm looking for. Actually, this one, because that's a trading hub, I think. Right? This one, actually. Yeah. Let's go trading hop, then shipyard, then we will... Well, we could actually stop. There is the faction representative on this uh, station. Turret. 
Um, don't need that. Let's dock up. Let's go meet the uh, faction representative. We should be able to get away with just getting the refine uh, the graphene from over here. The one thing that might be different is um, is the small storage. So let's get up and. I think we also need to start using our so-called explorer a tiny bit differently. Uh, how many satellites could you potentially carry? You're all... Come in. Upgrade repair. Uh, 20. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to be using this guy or this particular ship. Uh, not so much as an explorer. So let's get rid of these two. But we're going to be using him to make sure that within the pyramid and within the hop, uh, we have a chance to sell refined metals and in the future, graphene. Uh, so we, I better can get over... I should get over it uh, right now instead of later. I could, of course, do it myself. I love these new rooms. They're so damn cool. Hi, uh, blueprints, module production, and uh, hull parts is four and a half million. And what's the cheapest? That's missile. Energy, I have 206. That's not bad. Oh, 207. Okay, 207. Uh, how about the storage? Yeah, that appear in it once. I don't really like them. Um, so yeah. So I decided to actually make the cut over towards the Argon Wharf um, to get ourselves the, uh, the the liquid storage. Now, also fair warning, this um, well, it's actually cheaper than um, with the pyramid. Fair warning, uh, this. Cut uh, lasted for several days, so I might just rem repeat a few things I've already said. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is go quickly to the Traders Corner, check if there are some uh, manager's books available. Here you go. Uh, there's only... Actually, there's also a lot. That's good. That is good. We'll just take all of those. Good uh, say goodbye. And is there some large ship coming in? Because of the red blinkiness over here. Well, there's probably some docking. Anyways, let's go back to the ship. Uh, we're going to be taking command of it because I do not want to go through the next section on a station due to, well, station announcements. Uh, I am still dying to wait for an option to turn them off without disabling all of the voice settings. Uh, I quite like the, uh, the announcements of ship names and stuff like that. I just do not appreciate the um, the loudliness of the uh, station announcements. Anyhow, uh, let's go build ourselves a new base. Because we do need one. Uh, we're going to be building the graphene refinery over here. Pontifex Slime. The reason for that is there is 953,000 uh, units of methane. And we do uh, need those. Now... Could be in here, could be in there. That, we're going to be checking that um, relatively soon, actually. But let's let's start construction first. So there is a hop facility being built over there. I kind of want the station to be near other stations. So say we are going to be assaulted by raiders or anything. I want the ships to be relatively close to other stations. So, yeah, I think this, this would work. It's, it's going to be an expensive station, though. Because it's, like, 200. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Never mind. I can build it over there. Um. Anyways. No, I cannot. Because I want this station to be close to wherever that mining needs to be happening. So, we're going to be I heading towards more. the wharf. Auto we're going to be autopiling it over there. Now, uh, there is another thing. Uh, I, I, like I said uh, in the first part, I believe, 
is I want another ship. And the ship needs to be of the Argon Federation because we can actually access heavy fighters. And out of the heavy fighters, I think the Quasar is the one I like the most. You also have like the, uh, what's it, the I say Quasar, this is the Quasar, the Eclipse Vanguard. Even though the Eclipse Vanguard on a high preset is a tiny bit faster. Autopilot disengaged. It only has one shield, that's the problem. Yeah, and the hull, look at that hull. 6,500 as with the other one. The survivability is a bit higher and it, it only costs us a very minimum amount. But there comes my question. I don't know anything about these weapons. Like the shatter gun, it's probably going to be slow. Uh, I, I might just take a moment to look into that. We can also go for an iron cannon. And if we could get ourselves a weapon that does like high hull damage. Because it says a fragmented bomb launcher. That sounds cool. Yeah, and this is... Sh okay, wait a minute. Area shielded damage? Unshielded... This is... Um, interesting, actually. You would say that this is... It's, it's anti-shield because it does more shield damage. Hull damage, excluding area... Okay. You get it, this is not bad at all. Doesn't mean that I want it. And that, that's a bit my problem. So what I'm hoping to receive from you is some feedback on which weapons we should take. Uh, and we can always just change the weapons uh, accordingly. Accordingly. So um, I think we have the plasma weapons on these. Is that this? No, this is the pulse. Yeah, like I said, there, there's a bunch of new weapons and I don't know the names. So, I'm just going to go not ordering a ship right now because it's costing me 2.8 million. Uh, and I'll just patiently await uh, your instructions. And if there are no instructions, then, well, I'll just have to go with the high settings and, and just test out some weapons. Where the hell is the uh, docking station out here? Oh, there it is. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not going to do criminal traffic. Oh, it's one of my ships. Nice. Get out of my way. Great. Come on. So the reason for the the book on the management. I would need that ship to actually sell wares at some places. Got. Hopefully. Ah. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. It's, it's awesome. I love to be aboard. Let's uh, drop this down to five. Get five resource probes. Just... No, that, that's, that's, that's stupid. Let's go with two. Don't really need satellites anymore. Add that. And I'm going to send this ship over. And then we'll start constructing uh, the graphene base. So what I want this ship to do... Is let's get out Docking of the cockpit. Granted. I'm an idiot. Out of the cockpit. Nova Vanguard. And let's send you off over here. Resource probe. And resource probe that. Now the one that has the major the most resource we want, we'll keep the other one we'll just pick up because we're not going to be littering space. Uh, for time being, just dock up over there because I am quite a slow constructor. Uh, and I'll see you when these two are actually deployed because that was the entire reason for me going to get resource probes. Okay, and with that, the uh, the final resource probe has been dropped. Uh, it seems there's only helium over here, so you can already collect that. That is just not going to work for us. Collect that, uh, and yeah, we definitely are going to be building over here. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, okay, I guess it's, it's, it's decent. Well... 
let's get started then. Uh, I have a bit of a design in mind. It it's not going to be very pretty, but I'll I'll do my absolute best. We know that um, the gases. I'm going to assume is like this region over there. So I want to have my docking at this port. At this point, let's get a cross connection. And then standard docking over there, like so. So they can come in from this angle and just fly back. Just make it a bit like a circle. We do need storage. And I would like to get myself two container storage and two liquid storage. I'll place them in like so. Uh, is that how I want them to be done? I think I do. And I connect them up here with another one. So this is going to be a bit of a copy. Let's get the other one. Oh my god, always the wrong one. Huh? Uh, liquid, like so. Uh, copy sequence, put you over there. Remove this part. Rotate you. Come on, 180. There you go. So that should be the same. And we'll add the two graphene modules. Like so. Yeah, that's the design, guys. I know. It is. Yeah, fill in the blanks. Assign a builder. Pause. Can I find one from over here? Now, I know we cannot use the Argon Federation. They are at war so that would not be ideal uh we're actually about to jump which could be entering system Bold very vision. nice could you please come across a builder that would be absolutely perfect uh it's probably not going to happen so i need to go and find a construction ship i'm hoping it will be close to the um the wharf the shipyard or the trading post uh, but so far no luck let's get the resources in how expensive is this going to be uh 1.2 million okay that's nice while that goes stop uh actually nova yeah come vanguard here. Oh my goodness. A pilot. Let's take a look. Anything near us? Uh, no. Not. Not at all. So where is the, uh, the trade? That's over there. Let's go. Okay, I... Yeah, there we go. Construction ship. Uh, right over there. Hopefully he is not going to be busy. Is that this one? Up, uh, ripped up. Heat when it happens. You, higher. Uh, closer. That will be done when it's done. What we need is two ships providing it with gases. So, medium gas. Do we have another ship than just this? We could actually, what we could do. Use ships like this. Uh, we could roleplay it a tiny bit. So say we build a station in hop territory. We'll use hop ships. We build in Pyranid. We build in Taladi and so on, so on. You know, Riptide would be problematic because they do not, I believe, have mining ships. Uh, let's go. Uh, medium. How do you score that? Oh, that absolute. Wow, okay. Oh, that's not bad at all. It has like four turrets. Uh, but it only has two forward weapons. I don't like that. The Nemesis, however, has five weapons. Two turrets. And one, two, two shields. And oh, wow, that's actually not bad. Look at that hull. Look at the price. Wait, well, actually, it is, of course, a medium ship. So we have the Eris. 
uh, four weapons, three shields, three engines. Oh, we might need to go with these guys. Heavy fighter. This, I don't like the look of it uh, at all, actually. So I'm. Um, we could try getting the Eris. The hull is a joke, uh, but still, uh, we need. Yeah, this one. A low preset. Remove this one because, well, this is not uh, Star Wars Interworlds. It's like, look, all is fine. I like them to have a combat engines, combat, uh, low shields. Just some turrets. Do not need police license. Because we're not going to be scanning ships with this anyways. Uh, get some flares, get some crew. How expensive? Uh, close to a million. We do need to uh, supply it with uh, some hull parts. We can actually do that ourselves. Confirm that. Uh, and then next step would be... Taking a look. And we have two transports again. We have the Demeter and the Herms. With the Demeter having the largest container, but I'm going to assume the other one is a bit faster. 199 is, is quite slow. Yeah, he's faster. Uh, traveling speed, 28.62. Yeah, it, it definitely is faster. It is uh, a bit weaker. I'm going to... F I, I probably am going for this one. Because of the speed. And I hate being arrested by pirates. And I don't like how it's set up. Actually, we could... Oh, that would be risky. Uh, let's take a look. Are we getting money in? Not right now. So let's make sure we do not bankrupt ourselves. He is apparently flying backwards. Oh, I am flying backwards. Never mind. Yeah, that's how we roll. Uh, who, need, who wants to go forward when you can go backwards? Yeah. So, uh, probably that next time we are going to be doing some more missions. Peace and stability, clean water, carbon filters, shake down. We can actually do shake down right now. It's uh, it's quite easy. It's quite fast. Uh, we'll, do the, uh, we'll do some missions. Get ourselves to the plus 15. Like I've been told on so many occasions, do not focus on one faction because, yeah, they will start steamrolling each other and we don't need that. Now, otherwise, the Explorer we did send to drop satellites uh, down at places where they also sell uh, labor union contracts because we are going to be needing them. 480 Five going to our ore refinery. Four hundred eighty-five. Did I set it up like that? Yeah, something. Like that. I I don't like that. They're actually just bringing one, one six two six. You know, I'm I'm starting to feel that I might want to not have the AI supply. The other side. There is a lot of transportation going on, which is great because that is always my complaint when I start a vanilla run. So it, it actually, it's nice. Okay. So with that, I'll quickly just go towards the criminal traffic. And that's the final thing I'll do because we need, we need more money. If once these start selling, we'll actually get the, uh, the two raiders. Hopefully we can actually sell the graphene because we need to make, I'm going to say six to seven million just to have the hull part factory with enough ships to distribute. Actually, we could use these, but they're currently just making me a lot of money and I don't want to lose them. So yeah. Autopilot disengage. How many do we need? Eight. Okay. Go on, start spamming. Civilian ship B. Come here. Yep, there we go. That's it. Now, they will launch more criminal ships. Uh, which is actually great. Because each and every one is a plus one. And 
we are currently now negative seven, so it's not too bad. Might take me some while to actually get to that plus 15, but if we do some more missions, yeah, that will be fine. Anyways, guys, that's, uh, that's it for today. Hopefully, you'll uh, enjoy the episode. If you did, then do not forget to click the like, leave me a comment, all of that stuff, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.